Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and the other day we reviewed this very expensive Samsung X5 solid state drive. This is a portable SSD that connects up via Thunderbolt 3 and delivered exceptional performance because not only does it have the Thunderbolt connection, but it also has an NVMe solid state drive inside. Uh, these are PCI Express drives that we typically see on laptop or desktop computer motherboards, but they were able to get it into a portable form factor. But it's about $400 just for the 500 gigabyte version. And many people said, hey, you can get the same drive that's in this one for about 200 bucks. Is there a do-it-yourself solution? And there kind of is. So I found this kit the other day on Amazon. I believe this is the Akasis M2 NVMe Enclosure Kit. Now this is a USB type C device, not Thunderbolt, but it will be much more compatible and it supports Gen 2 USB, which means that the maximum throughput on it is about 10 gigabits per second. So we should see about a gigabyte per second of performance if we have a fast enough drive to go with it. Not as fast as Thunderbolt, but also not as expensive. Uh, you could pair this up with a 500 gigabyte Samsung 970 Evo drive, the same that's in this device here. Uh, for about $200 uh, versus $400 for this. Even though this is faster, I think sometimes price might win out and compatibility because this will work with any USB device. So what we're going to do in this video is take a look at this kit and we're going to install this MP300 NVMe drive I got in recently uh, from the Amazon Vine program to see exactly uh, what we can do on our own for less money. And before we get into that, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure, I paid for the kit with my own funds, but the hard drive here came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review, nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and see how to get this drive installed, and then we'll run some performance tests on it. So let's take a look and see what's inside the box. This is $50 as you see it, so a little pricier perhaps than some other enclosures, but it does have the ability to work with those NVMe drives. Uh, so this is the unit itself, not much to it actually. Uh, it's all metal, it feels very solidly constructed here. Looks like you have a thermal pad here for keeping it uh, cool and getting the heat to transfer to the bottom plate. I believe it's aluminum. Uh, the drive is going to be installed inside of here. So it looks like installation should be uh, pretty simple on this. Uh, the drive connects up via, via USB Type-C here, but again, it will work with uh, just about any uh, USB port on any computer you've got. Uh, we also have a cable here. This looks like a USB Type-C to regular USB cable. Uh, and there's also an adapter here, one of these out-of-spec adapters, I think, to uh, convert it back to regular USB-C. So we'll be using this one with my MacBook here in a second. Uh, we've got some foot pads and the screws here. Uh, they even give you a screwdriver to get it all attached with. Now there are instructions, but the instructions are all in Chinese. So I think if you don't speak Chinese, you can either take out your phone and do the translation thing, or you can go on Amazon where they also have the instructions listed out. And then I'll take out the drive here and see what we've got here. Uh, again, this is that MP300 we reviewed a few weeks ago. And you wanna make sure you're grounded when you are handling electronics like this, but this is an NVMe drive. And we're just going to get it installed here. I do have to get a screw, all the screws out to uh, screw it down properly, but it just goes in like so. You kind of put it into the thing there, and then you push it down, and then just get that uh, other end screwed in. So let me get this thing screwed back together real quick, and when we're done, uh, we'll boot it up and see how it performs. All right, I got everything put back together here. I didn't put the rubber feet on just yet. A very solid case here, nice and uh, sturdy feeling. I did use a different cable though. I've got this USB 3.1 Gen 2 cable that I trust a little more than what they included. I just wasn't a big fan of using that adapter to get all this to work. Uh, this particular enclosure also has an indicator light to let you know what it's doing. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is just start up my Blackmagic disk speed test. You can see that thing blinking there. And we're getting write speeds at around 748 megabytes per second or, or so, give or take. Uh, and our read speeds are at about 916 megabytes per second. Uh, so immediately for 200 bucks or less, uh, this is now faster than most of the other solid state drives that I have looked at uh, here on the channel that connect up via USB-C. And that's due to the fact that we've got that NVMe drive in there. Uh, so in comparison, when we tested this on a computer that had an NVMe slot directly on the motherboard, 
Uh, the speeds we're seeing here are slightly lower than what you would get directly connected. Uh, so in my initial testing from the review we did a little while ago, I was getting about 800 megabytes per second on the writes and about 1200 megabytes per second on the reads. So we are taking a bit of a performance hit using USB-C versus Thunderbolt or a direct PCI connection here, uh, but it's really not all that bad for what we paid for it. And I also wanted to see if there were any performance hits for random reads and writes to and from the drive. So I ran the Crystal Disk Mark test on my Windows laptop a few minutes ago. Uh, this is what I ended up with. Uh, so our sequential test here is about what we saw on the Mac a few minutes ago, but the uh, random reads and writes are lower, significantly so in some cases, versus the same drive plugged directly into a PC. And as you can see here, we saw a pretty dramatic performance decline here. And this is likely due to having to convert this PCI Express slot into USB. Uh, that is what we're seeing there. So the USB controller here, I think, is contributing to that because this is the very same drive uh, that got the uh, test scores you can see here on the right in the YouTube window. So there is a performance hit using USB here without a question. We would certainly see better performance if we had a Thunderbolt connection, for example, or uh, directly connected on our motherboard, of course. But for something portable uh, that's not that expensive and very compatible, uh, this is not a bad option to consider, especially if you are copying huge files back and forth to your computer. You'll definitely see a performance increase with an NVMe to USB drive uh, versus many of the off-the-shelf SSDs that we have tested that are pretty fast in their own right, but not as fast as this. So pretty easy to put this together, about 50 bucks. There are a lot of other kits out there. This is the only one that I have tested so far. And I always like to warn people when you get a product out of the box with the instructions in Chinese, uh, it's definitely a buy at your own risk scenario here. There's not going to be a lot of long-term support, I suspect, for this product. So I would definitely make sure if you are relying upon this for very important work, you keep it backed up. Uh, because we don't really know much about this company and uh, we don't know how well they'll support it into the future. So just keep that in mind. And if you do want that peace of mind, then go with a name brand and pay a little bit more. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Too Much Sauce, Gerard Newberg, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.